Hi, I'm Eddie with It's a Skin. In today's video, we're gonna do door wraps. Uh, door wraps are good for bedroom doors, man caves, storage rooms, and generally anywhere you wanna dress up a boring door. Uh, today, our test door is gonna be our shop storage room. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off our doorknob and pull actually the door off the hinges. You don't have to do it, but it's gonna make it easier for you to do an install. All right, so now that you've got your door laid out on the ground, uh, I suggest you get a razor blade a squeegee or a credit card will work just fine, and some tape. Go ahead and take your skin and lay it out. You want to leave a little bit of uh, overlap on each side of the door and a little bit on the foot and the uh, bottom of the door as well. Okay, so once you've got the door laid out on the floor, lay out the skin so that you've got a little bit of image uh, bleeding over the sides, all four sides. And I suggest you tape it down and just kind of walk around and, and see if you're happy with the way it's going to fit. Remember, you're gonna leave some overlapping so that you can trim it after. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna peel back about 12 inches or so of the uh, back layer and set the top edge. Again, you can see I've got a little bit extra on the top and a little bit extra on each side. Go ahead and set that down. Get that all set. And then slowly reach underneath and peel away the backing, making sure you're keeping it straight along the way. We're gonna stop every six to 12 inches work out our bubbles, and keep it all nice and clean. All right, so once you get it all installed, you may have a tiny bubble here or there. As you can see, we've got a small one right here. All we're gonna do is just take our razor blade or a needle, pop a, just a tiny little air hole in there, and just push out the air, and there you go. Now we're just gonna trim the side. I just run my razor blade up along the side and follow it all the way around the door. So you don't have to take off your doorknob, but if you do take off the doorknob, it makes for a much cleaner install. Now we just pop our knife in, kind of go around the doorknob opening here, and then once we put the doorknob back on, that'll be a very, very clean, finished look. But if you're real good with a razor blade, you could just leave the doorknob on. And there you go. Now we're ready to reinstall the door. Okay, here's our final product all installed. I think it came out really nice. Our total time on this was about 15 to 20 minutes, much faster than painting, much cleaner than painting, and looks way nicer than a paint job. I think we're gonna ultimately frame this out in bamboo to give it a final look, but uh, I think it really looked good on our uh, workstation. Remember to check us out at itsaskin.com, follow us Facebook at itsaskin.com, and of course on Instagram.